Hi guys, this is Sir France again. In this video, we are going to talk about the first topic in trigonometry, which is angle measurement. Let's start. Okay, here we go. First, we are going to define what is a trigonometry. Trigonometry is derived from the Greek language, which means measurements of triangle. It deals with the relationship among the sides and angles of triangles. Let's recall some of the terminologies for trigonometry. Let's start with ray. It is the half line or half segment which has one end point and the other end is infinitely distant to the other hand. Initial point, it's the point where the ray originates. Angle, composed of two rays with common initial point. Vertex of an angle, it's the common initial point of the two rays. Measurement of an angle. It's the number which indicates the amount of rotation that separates the rays of the angle. Degree measure. Commonly used to measure smaller angle denoted by the symbol degree. Region. It's the measure of central angle when an arc of a circle has the same length as the radius of the circle. We label that one as R80 or RAD, in short for region. Region measure. It's the standard unit of angular measure, which is the number of radius units in the length of an arc. That is why if the given angles has no indicated unit measure, then automatically that angle is in region measure. We have it here, theta. So this uh, symbol here, this is theta in regions, is equal to S over R, where S is the length of the subtended arc and R is the radius. Hence, if S is equal to R, then our theta is equal to one radian. So these are just terminologies for uh, angle measurement. We have it there, you have it there and you can see it and you can review it anytime. Okay, look at here the given uh, illustration. You have it here labeled as a positive angle which has a degree of 45 or 45 degrees and a negative angle which has a negative 45 degree. Okay, look at here where we start. So this is our initial side. So this is from zero degree the, as the initial side, and then this is our terminal side, which means it's where we end. And this measurement indicates 45 degrees. So this is a positive angle. For positive angle, we need to take note that the rotation for this one will always be counterclockwise. Hence, for a negative angle, it's the opposite. So we are going to rotate clockwise. Again, positive angle rotates counterclockwise and negative angle rotates clockwise. So as the same, uh, the same uh, initial side, so we started here in zero, zero degree, but it's an opposite one. Uh, so we started here as, and then we ended here as the terminal side, which measures a negative 45 degree. Okay, I've, I've shown you here the unit circle. You have it there from zero degree here, this one, to 30 degree, to 45 degree, to 60 degree, 90 degree, 120 degree, 135 degree, and so on until 360 degree. So this measures here with a degree sign, that's the degrees of, this, of the angle. And next to it will be the 
uh, measurement of its uh, ray in region form. So this is in degree form, and this is in region form. If you're asking, sir, are they equal? The degree 30 degrees is it equal to pi over six? The answer there is yes, because it's just in a different form, which is in region. This is a 30 degree measurement, or this is a pi over six region measurement. So they are just the same. And if you're asking what are these outside the circle, these are the coordinates of our cosine and sine. So you have it here. This is our cosine and this is our sine. So in other terminologies, cosine stands for the value of x and sine stands for the value of y. As you can see it there, uh, each uh, side and each uh, degree or region measure has its uh, coordinates. Okay. But for 360 and 0, uh, they have the same because as you can see, the x value there is 1 and then the y value is 0. Mm -hmm. This thing here is very important as we move on to our uh, further, further, as we move on further to our topic here in trigonometry. Okay, take note of this one. So if you can familiarize this uh, thing, then it's very easy for you to uh, initiate. For example, uh, you have, okay, I'm not going to talk about it because let's proceed. Okay, we have no angles and circles in the context of analytic geometry. If the angle's vertex is at the origin of the Cartesian plane and its initial side is the positive x-axis, then the angle is in standard position. Again, if its initial side is the positive x-axis, again, positive is located on the right, right side of our x x-axis, right? Then the angle is in standard position. So if the x if our initial side will always be located on the positive side of the x-axis, then the angle will always be in a standard position. If the rotation of the terminal side is counterclockwise, so here we go, counterclockwise, then the angle is positive. And if the rotation of the terminal side is clockwise, then it's negative. Okay, again, counterclockwise is equal to positive, and then clockwise is equal to negative. Okay, thank you for that one. That's very important. So you have it here again, the uh, illustration before, uh, before. Okay, if the terminal side lies on any of the coordinate axes, then it is a quadrantal angle. Again, if the terminal side lies on any of the coordinate axes, then it is a quadrantal angle. So what are these coordinate axes? For the quadrantal angle, we have uh, zero. Next is 90 degrees. And what's next to 90 degrees? We have 180 degrees. We have 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Those are for quadrantal angle. If two angles in standard position share the same terminal side, again, if they share the same terminal side, it is called co-terminal angle. If you're asking, sir, uh, if you mean, if, if you say uh, the, say, the same terminal side, it doesn't necessarily have the same initial side. Yes, it's correct because they only have the same terminal side, but initial side can be the same or not. Yes. So we have it here below. If theta is greater than zero degree and less than 360 degree, then we are ready to find the co-terminal angle. Let's have the positive co-terminal angle, which is equal to, this is the formula, theta plus 360 degrees times n where theta is the angle given and n should be greater or equal to 1. So n is the number of co-terminal angle, co angle which we are going to find. 
So for negative coterminal angle, as you can see, for positive coterminal, we are using here an addition. And for negative coterminal, we will be using subtraction. So it's equal to theta minus 360 degrees times n, where theta is the angle given and n is greater or equal to 1. Okay? So you need to take note also for these things. This is a formula and it will always be constant and it will never be changed. Okay, let's try an example. So I have here an example. Give six coterminal angles. Okay, we divide them by three positive and three negative of the following angle. Let's have letter A. Theta is equal to 120 degrees. Okay, we are going to use the solution. Uh, in our solution, we're going to use the formula. Yes. For, so for positive coterminal angle, so we have it there. Uh, substitute the theta, which is one, which is 120 degrees, plus 360 degree times one for the first coterminal angle. It's equal to 480 or 480 degrees. So that's our first coterminal or the first positive coterminal angle. And for our second, so the same uh, substitute the theta, which is 120 degree plus 360. So we change n to 2 because it's the second one, which is equal to 840 degrees. And the same goes with the third one. We change n to 3 and we get 1,200 degrees. Yes, and if you're asking, oh, they have the same terminal angles because they are called co-terminal angle. And if you're going to graph them, uh, you're going to uh, discover, yes, all of it are coterminal angles. And for negative coterminal angles, we follow this, the formula again for the negative coterminal angle, which is theta minus uh, 360 degrees times n. So we have it here minus because we will be using subtraction. 120 degrees minus uh, 360 degrees times 1, that's equal to negative 240 degree. And for when n is equal to 2, we have negative 600 degrees. And for n, when n is equal to 3, we have negative 960 degrees. And the 6 of it, 480, 840, 1200, negative 240, negative 600, and negative 960 degrees, they have co-terminal, the same co-terminal Oh, they are called co-terminal angles of 120 because they have the same terminal angles. Now for letter B, we have theta is equal to negative 100. So for the solution, you can see it here below, positive co-terminal, substitute the given theta here in our uh, theta plus 360 degree times n, which is 1. Okay, we always start with 1 because it's in the condition where n should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay, substitute it, and that's equal to 260 degree. When n is equal to 2, that's equal to 620 degrees. When n is equal to 3, that's 980 degrees. So if you're asking 360 times 3, you do the math, and then uh, minus, uh, minus 100 degrees, you will get 980 degrees. For negative, so we have a negative 100 degrees minus 360 degrees times 1. That's equal to negative 460 degrees. And when n is equal to 2, we have negative 80 degrees. And when n is equal to 3, we have a negative 1,180 degrees. So the 6 of it, this one, are coterminal angles of negative 100 and are uh, of negative 100 degrees, okay? So this six answer is here. Next, we have example number two. Find one positive and one negative coterminal angles of an angle measuring pi over three region. Okay, as you can see, the given is, a is in region form. All we need to do there uh, is to also change our formula. How? Since 360 is equal to 2 pi, so we change it to 2 pi because it's in region form. Therefore, we solve also the region form. 
one positive only so uh no need to uh, substitute n is equal to one because uh, one times two pi is just equal to two pi so we have it here the given the given theta which is pi over three plus two pi it's equal to seven pi over three how okay remember in uh adding uh we are adding here as you can see these are frac fraction so we have here 2 pi over 1 so you find their lcd which is a 3 and then 3 times 1 that's pi so 3 times i mean 3 divided by 3 that's 1 times pi so that's pi here and then 3 divided by 1 that's 3 times 2 6 pi so pi plus 6 pi that's 7 pi so you have it here in the numerator, 7 pi over 3. That's for the positive. And then we need to find one negative coterminal. So we change the sign. Pi over 3 minus 2 pi. And in the same process, this is uh, operating fractions that's equal to negative 5 pi over 3. Therefore, 7 pi over 3 and negative 5 pi over 3 are coterminal angles of pi over 3. Now for the exercises, it's your turn to answer. Give four coterminal angles, two positive and two negative, of the following angles. Time is up. Here is the answer. Let's reveal. Okay, for number one, it's uh, 495 degree. Okay, you have it there, 855 degree, negative 255 degree, and negative 585 degree. For number two, you can see it here. And for number three, also. Next. Conversion between degrees, regions, and revolutions. Okay, take note for number one. To convert degrees to region, we multiply degrees by pi rad over 180 degrees. If you're asking, sir, is there a uh, other way of uh, doing it? Yes, you can use also 2 pi rad over 360 degree. But it's better to use pi rad over 180 degrees because it's more simplified, right? Okay, so you can use that one if the given is degree, okay? That's degree. How about if the given is in region form? So to convert region to degree, we convert the region to degree, multiply regions by... 180 degree over pi rad. So that's how we convert from region to degree. How about convert revolutions to degrees? Just simply multiply revolutions by 360 degrees over one revolution or one rev in short. And for number four, convert revolution to region. Yes, it's possible by multiplying revolutions by two pi over one revolution or one rev. Okay, guys, please familiarize and take note everything here. Okay, so I want you to apply those uh, four conversion method in from degree measure to region measure to revolution. Okay, here is the answer. Mm -hmm. So look at carefully. That's the answer there. Next. For the solutions, okay, I want you to see it carefully. You can see it here, the solution. Degree to region, okay, for the first part. And then degree to revolution. We use the formula for the number two. Number three, number four, five. Mm -hmm. And for number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that completes our answer. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. And I hope you learn a lot in my lesson. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much and see you in our next lesson.